Hi, welcome you all to Pebbles. In today's class, we are going to see reminder and division. Let's start the class. First sum, 13 is going to be divided by 4. So 13 is a dividend and 4 is a divisor. It's a long division method. So I'll tell you, the first one, 13 is going to be divided by 4. So 13, this is dividend, okay? This is dividend, D-I-V-I-D-E-N-D, -I -I -D -D, dividend. And this is a divisor, divisor. Okay, so you must see, look at these numbers. 13 is going to divide by 4. First, you must see the what? First number. That is, this is 1s and this is 10s. Compare with 10s. Okay, so 1, 1, 10 and is going to divide by 4. So 1 is less than 4. So it's not enough to what divide. So you can take the next digit that is 3, 3 1s. So 1, 10 and 3 1s, you can get 13. So 13 is going to divide by 4. So you must use the fourth table up to 13. So 4 1s are 4 and 4 2s are 8 and 4 3s are 12. So you must write it here. So 4 into 3, you can get 12. So you must write this, no, you must write the number less than or more less than or below than this number below than or less than the dividend okay so at, at almost you must give the nearest value you almost you must give the nearest value you must always write the number less than the dividend or below than the dividend so four threes are 12 so you must write three so this is a quotient so four threes are what 12 you must write 12 after that you have to subtract so 3 minus 2. So, once 3 minus 2, you can get 1 and 1 minus 1, you can get 0. So, no need to write. So, this is a reminder and this is a quotient. So, what is the answer? Reminder. So, reminder, what is a reminder in division? 1. So, quotient is 3 and reminder is 1. So, leftover number is called as a reminder. Leftover number is called as a reminder and so, always the reminder is less than the divisor. So reminder is always less than the divisor. I'll write this leftover leftover number number. I'll write sorry n u m b r number is called is called the is called as otherwise okay is called as reminder reminder next point. Reminder, reminder is always, always less than the, less than the divisor. Okay, these are the rules. So you don't forget the rules while you do the division. Okay, next. This is the examples. Now we are going to solve the problem. First problem. So 17 divided by 17 a sum. 17 is divided by 2. So 17 is a dividend and 2 is a divisor. So you must use the 2 table up to 17. So what are this? 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4 and 2 3s are 6, 2 4s are 8, 2 5s are 10, 2 6 are 12 and 2 7 are, se 2 7 are what? 14 and 2 8 are 16. So what is the number? 17 is a dividend. So 2 8 are 16. I have told you, you must write the number less than the dividend always. So 2 8 are 16. 2 8 are 16. So you must write 8 on the top. That's the quotient. 2 8 are 16. You must write 16. This number always this number less than the dividend or below than the dividend now you're going to start subtracting 7 minus 6 you can get 1 and 1 minus 1 you can get 0 so no need to write so quotient 8 and reminder is 1 so q is equal to 8 and r is equal to 1 this is the right answer for the question so next one 26 is divided by 4 so second sum 26 is divided by 4. So, second sum we are going to see. The 26 is a dividend and 4 is a divisor. You must use the fourth table up to 26. So, you must write the value near. You must always write the 
number nearest to the what dividend and also you must write the number what you must write the number less than the dividend or below than the dividend so fourth table up to 26 nearing value up to the nearing value you must uh, say so four ones are four four twos are eight four threes are twelve four fours are sixteen four fives are twenty and four six are twenty four four six are twenty four four six are twenty four so you must write six on the top that is a quotient so twenty four you will have to write so 24 it's a what less than the dividend or below than the dividend and also the nearest value of the dividend so now you're going to subtract so 6 minus 4 you can get 2 2 minus 2 it know that variable 0 so no need to write it again it's not necessary so this is a quotient and this is a reminder so for this question for the second question so quotient is what 6 and reminder is what 2 so this is the answer okay so first question 13 is going to divided by this example some reminder and division so 13 is divided by 4 so you can get the answer is that is quotient is 3 reminder is 1 so reminder and division is the adding so the reminder is 1 okay so i told you what is a reminder leftover number that is remaining number otherwise we can call it as leftover number is called as a reminder and reminder is always less than the divisor so one is always less than four that is what one for example one is what less than four so it's one is a reminder and four is a divisor reminder this 4 is a divisor okay so reminder and divisor so one is less than the what one is always one is always or one is less than the 4 that is reminder is always less than the what divisor so one is a reminder and 4 is a divisor so one is less than 4 means reminder is always less than the divisor that rules also satisfied so leftover number is always called as a reminder so second question the first sorry first question this is the example is over now we are going to see the first question 17 is divided by 2 17 is a dividend and 2 is a divisor so you divide everything you can get the quotient is 8 and reminder is 1 so quotient is 8 and reminder is 1 this is the right answer for this question and 26 second question b question this say 26 is divided by 4 26 is divided by 4 26 is a dividend and 4 is a divisor so the answer is Quotient is 6 and reminder is 2. For this question, reminder is 1. The second question, reminder is 2. Okay. Um, so, re example reminder is 1. And A question, reminder is again 1. And B question, that is reminder is 2. The so, reminder and division, I think so you understand very clearly. So, first question answer is, quotient is 3, reminder is 1. That is, this is the example question, not first question. Example question answer is, what question that is quotient is 3 example question answer is quotient is 3 reminder is 1 For, that is a question answer is question that is quotient is 8 and reminder is 1 and b question answer is quotient is 6 and reminder is 2 this is the right answer for the question